All right, guys, welcome to another video for the B11X. And recently, there has been a latest port for this particular device, which is based on Oxygen OS, based from the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you the step by step guide of how to go about installing it. And we'll have a quick look around the UI and the ROM. Maybe I'll use it for a couple of days and then I can review it. So, before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So right off the bat, let's see what we have here and who has ported this particular ROM because a few days back there was another port for this device as well. So what we have here is OxygenOS 11 port, Android 11 ported from OnePlus 8 Pro, updated on the 11th of April 2022. Now if we see the size of the ROM is 2.4 gigabytes and if we go to the change log here, let's quickly have a look. Okay. Reduce battery drain by removing useless OnePlus services. Rebased on 4.9 immensity X kernel. Fixed automatic brightness is not going to the fullest. Fixed fast charging is not detected sometimes. Fixed Play Store force close stopped. Adjusted key guard unlock layout view in the bottom. Adjusted quick setting panel padding view. Adjusted status bar height and padding. Now those are all the changes in the latest build. Now there are some notes that we need to you know pay attention to. It says for Dolby and Soundfix flash this particular zip. Changing kernel might result in a boot loop or disabling double tap to wake. Test on your own. SE Linux is permissive, so it is not enforcing yet. And the ROM is not encrypted. It is decrypted by default, right? Now, what we need to do in this video is we need to go ahead and install. So there are a few things that we need to pay attention to as well. Now, Oxygen OS OnePlus 8 Pro port for Elliot. Info, known bugs and workaround. ROM is decrypted, OS Dolby, all these things are mentioned. Safety net is failed by default. Flash this fix from Majisk. If you face lag while listening to music or watching videos, disable Google Assistant. Well, taste it and let me know. So in order to flash, we need this particular firmware. We need a TWRP recovery for which we of course need an unlocked bootloader. And the remaining steps are wipe data cache if you're coming from another ROM. Select downloaded ROM zip and install. Format data if your storage is encrypted, that is optional. And reboot to slot A. Now, few things that you need to take care of is of course, you need to have more than 50% battery. You need to make sure that all the data on your device is backed up because installing any sort of custom ROM will wipe everything on your phone. And the basic requirement of course is you will need two files. That is the ROM file and the firmware file. You need to be on, on an unlocked bootloader with one of the latest TWRP versions that should be working fine with this particular ROM. Last but not the least, if you're coming from MI UI, remove your MI account. If you're coming from any other ASP or custom ROM, remove your face unlock, fingerprint scanner, screen lock, Google account, and then reboot the device once. Now, considering that you've followed everything, we are good to go. We can go ahead and flash the ROM. But what you see over here, this cable going there, this is an OTG cable. As always, I've kept the files on a pen drive so that I can peacefully wipe everything. Right now, we are on MIUI, that is MIUI 12.5.7 enhanced. That's a stable version for Indian Mi 11X. And we're going to boot into TWRP. Now, in order to do that, you need to go ahead and press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the Mi logo. All right, now, as you can see, we have booted into TWRP and now the flashing begins, right? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to install the firmware as instructed. This is the firmware that we are talking about. We will uncheck this box called automatically reflash TWRP and swipe to confirm flash. So this is a firmware file and it will not take a long time to flash. So please be patient while that happens. Okay. Now this is flash. Now we need to wipe data and cache. Okay, so let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data. And uh, I'm gonna wipe internal storage as well. If your files are on a pen drive, you can do that as well. But we are not wiping metadata over here. So let's wipe this. All right, so now let's go to install and let's install the Oxygen OS ROM, right? So OnePlus 8 Pro Oxygen OS, select this. And select this option, automatically reflash TWRP after flashing the ROM and swipe to confirm flash. Now, the TWRP that we are using here, I will link that in the description because this is the TWRP that has been working absolutely fine for me across different ROMs. Now, this ROM flash will take about 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So please be patient while that happens and after which we will be doing format data. All right, so as we can see, the file has flashed successfully. You can ignore these errors over here. 
So go to the main screen, go to wipe, select format data and type in yes. All right. So now let's go ahead and click on reboot system. Now the first boot may take about two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, there you have the OnePlus boot logo. So that means we should be booting just fine. Let's wait for the boot to complete and then we will skip the setup part and we will quickly have a look at, uh, you know, the UI and all the other elements before we actually start using it and probably try some games or probably do a live stream because this ROM I've heard has 90 FPS unlocked. So it'll be interesting to see how exactly this particular ROM performs on the 11X. Now let's wait for this to set up. All right, so just like that, we are on the setup screen. We will connect to Wi-Fi and then we will skip the remaining part because I can definitely do that setup later. But for now, what I need to show you guys is how smooth and fluid this ROM works because in the full review, we will be able to you know, identify if we are able to use this ROM as a daily driver or not. And as you can see, it is connecting to Wi-Fi just fine. So no problems there whatsoever. The first boot did take about uh, 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So not really a very, very long boot and uh, pretty good experience so far flashing this ROM because it can be installed from TWRP and uh, like the other port, you don't really need to flash Xiaomi.eu first and then flash this particular port and stuff like that. So the instructions are pretty good and clear. Let's wait for the setup part to be done and then we will look at the ROM. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen of Oxygen OS OnePlus 8 Pro port. Let's first go to about phone. It does say over here, Snapdragon 865, 6128 and all sorts of other things. This is Oxygen OS 11.0.11.11. .11 .11. So that is a good thing. The ROM feels really, really fluid to begin with. If you go to display and you go to advanced, you do have the refresh rate option 60 and 120. You do have screen calibration and all the other options. Apart from this, let's see. I don't really see a camera application. Probably you'll have to make do with Google camera or Gcam. The game space is present, so it will be fun trying this around. But yes, the initial impressions look pretty rock solid and I look forward to trying this ROM and even doing a live stream with this. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video, about the step-by-step -step guide of installing Oxygen OS on your Mi 11X, Poco F3, also known as the Redmi K40. Until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.